Earlier this week, I uploaded a video dedicated to me talking about why you should start a photo of the day um, for an entire year. And at the beginning of that video, I had this sequence, which had a bunch of numbers counting up as I flashed up one frame, one photo for that full year. I was asked over on Twitter how I managed to make all of the photos flash at the same time whilst having a number count up from 0 to 365 and in this video I thought I would dedicate how I did that um, completely within After Effects so let's just jump into that right now. So once you've got After Effects open you're going to want to create a new composition you can make this any size that you want I'm going 1920 by 1080 with a duration of 10 seconds. After this, you're going to want to create a background, so you new, solid, and you can pick whatever colour that you want. I actually am going to be creating no background, simply because I'm using a transparent layer on, in my Premiere file, which I'll get to a little bit later on. With the text tool, click into your composition and type the number 0. Over here you can change whatever font that you want. I'm going to be going with Typograph Pro with the extra bold setting and I'm going to come down here and just align the graphic to the center of the screen. Once done, head on over to the effects and preset section and type in slider. Here you can drag over the slider control onto your text and you can see that this is actually doing nothing. This is because we have not applied an expression to this control just yet. To do so, you want to head on over to your text layer and click the downwards arrow and then again on text until you find source text. Hold the Alt key or Option on a Mac and click the stopwatch which will give you this little expression here. Click the down arrow on effects and slider control and then drag on over the pick whip onto the slider. In the expression box, type in math.round and then an open bracket and then head on right to the end of the expression and add a close bracket. Now when we drag the slider control, the number will actually change in conjunction with the number on the slider. So if I quickly go over to 7 seconds and I type into my slider control 365 as that was the number that I want to animate up to, that will then place a new keyframe and when I pre-render you can see that the counter is going to go straight up to 365. Now this is actually pretty slow for me for the graphic that I want. So I'm actually going to bring this down to about 2-3 seconds, let's just see what this looks like. And I'm going to re-render it again, and it's still a little bit slow, so let me just change this to 3. And if I try again, great, that's perfect, this is the exact speed that I want. So once you're happy with the numbers counting up, you can actually go ahead and render it. Add to render queue, go into your output settings and I'm going to change this RGB to RGB and alpha like so which is actually going to allow us to render the image uh, with transparent layers. So click render and then head on over to Premiere Pro. So this is the Premiere Pro file that I used when I edited the video and as you can see we have the normal part here which I was another graphic I actually made over in After Effects and then we get to this part which is what we're here for so we actually have this part here which as you can see if I turn on the layer on and off this is actually a graphic which I rendered out so you can see it still has the black background here um, but when dragged in it's actually transparent and we will see the thing below it which in this case is this video which is flashing up all of the images so combined it gives this effect of both of the video and the photos sort of combining into one um, and each number representing a day of photos. At the end of this sequence I actually have the image just by itself out for a longer duration and I actually quickly added a bit more uh, of the, the number 365 towards the end there as I made the graphic just a little short. Um, but as you can see, when we play through, it then stops on the 365, disappears, and then shows the complete photo before going into the main video. Just having knowledge of little things like that can really help boost your video's quality. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So hopefully you've learned something from this video. If you have, could you please give the video a like as it helps me out so much on this channel. Um, and if you enjoy these kind of videos and want to see more from me, uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, but other than that, that is all for today, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.